Hey friends, welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'm here with a haul from a new to me vendor, Sweet Two Cents. Sweet Two Cents is owned by Heather Riddle and Heather and I have become fast friends through the wax community, through YouTube and just everything that comes with <laughs> melting wax. And she has her own business, Sweet Two Cents. And I wanted to try her stuff. I've heard nothing but positive things about her wax. And I got a scent shot or scent cup in the round robin that just recently went around. And her scent that I got, it was on toasted pistachio, performed amazing for me. It smelled great. And so I felt like that was the push I needed to dive in. So I went on her website. Luckily, she had quite a bit of stuff on her website. And I was able to get a lot of goodies. She also loaded me up with samples. Oh my goodness, so generous. So I'm so excited to dive into this video and share with you the scents and what I think about them. First up in the box, it does include an invoice, which I absolutely love. Um, I really like to double check all the items. She also has a sticker that has cure time for both soy and parasoy wax because this haul includes both parasoy and soy. So I really like that sticker. That's a really nice extra touch. So really appreciate the invoice. And then she also has a business card. Like I said, Sweet Two Cents owned by Heather Riddle. She has an Instagram, Facebook group. She's on YouTube. So I will try to leave all of her contact information down below if you guys have yet to try Sweet Two Cents and want to. So stsense.bigcartel.com is her website. Okay, so to get into the samples, most vendors will send you a sample in your order. That's seven samples, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yes, yeah, seven samples. Heather loaded me up. I messaged her after I got this box and unpacked it. Like, I'm, I'm so grateful. Thank you <laughs> so much. Uh, I love to be able to try a lot of different scents, especially when you're um, getting into a new vendor, um, be able to try their oil so that way the next time a release comes, you know if there's some things you really like or some oils maybe you don't as much. So I am so excited. Thank you so much, Heather, for your generosity and how many samples you sent my way. I really, really appreciate it. So the first one is Loopy. So this is a Parasoy sample. Love the packaging, love the labels, and these are very thick bags, which I appreciate. Like, I don't feel like they're going to rip. You can't smell scent through them or anything like that. So this is a Fruit Loops scent. And I, I really like that there's two pieces in here because I could either do this in two different bathrooms or I probably could melt this in a bedroom and it'd be really pretty. Yeah, this just smells like Fruit Loops. Wow, really, really pretty Fruit Loop scent. I can see that being, you know, great on its own, obviously, but blended with other other oils. Candy Cane Kisses. This is one of the soy ones, and I went in and I dated all of them. Candy Cane Kisses. This is Peppermint. Um... I almost get a hint of like a coffee or something, but I don't know if that's just because it's been setting up against these other, other scents, but definitely get peppermint. Very strong peppermint. This one would be good for, um, good for the bathrooms. Iced raspberry jam. This is a soy sample. And you guys, this is really, really good. Yeah, I'm going to need more of this on its own and blended. <laughs> it's just a very sweet raspberry. It kind of reminds me a little bit of Second and Spruce, but this one's a little bit more like maybe it's the ice part, a little fresher. It's got like a... a a fresher kind of cleaner note to it not that it's laundry or anything like that but yeah maybe that icing note just gives it something else but 
this is a really nice raspberry more of on the like perfumey side I guess raspberry really really like that one blackberry sugared violets um, I love blackberry sugared violets this is very large <laughs> large pieces a very generous sample me and Natalie both love a blackberry sugared violet. So when I saw this as one of the samples, I knew it was going to be one that I would most likely enjoy. Yeah. It is blackberry sugared violet. So pretty. Perfect for the springtime. I probably will try to melt this before the weather gets too hot. It is a beautiful floral with the sweetness without being too floral. Violets are one of my favorite floral notes because they're not super powdery um, and they're not super floral and they tend to lean a little bit more on the sweet side. Really enjoyed that. Thank you so much. Pineapple sage. This one thought would be good for the bathrooms probably. Definitely pineapple, but the sage gives it a really nice freshness. I'm not a huge pineapple fan, but this doesn't smell super artificial to me. Some pineapples, like Scentsy Pineapple, I cannot handle because it gives such an artificial, uh, such an artificial scent to me. This one smells more authentic, and then the sage just gives it this, this freshness. This is really good. I can see a lot of people really enjoying that scent. Cola. You guys know I love this. <laughs> I love Coca-Cola scents, not cherry Coke, just Coke, especially with bakery. Yeah, this is good. This smells like you just opened a can of Coke and it's sitting right in front of you. Yeah, that is so, so good. And then lastly is elderberry donut. This is like a berry bakery donut scent. Honestly, the cola and the elderberry donut. Can I smell these at the same time? Yeah, I feel like that could be a good combination. I love cola with bakery. So um, especially with like zucchini bread and stuff like that. And also I'm thinking the elderberry donut with the iced raspberry jam. <laughs> I think that could be a real winner. Not that I am an expert <laughs> blender. I don't make wax for a reason. And honestly, when I melt, I don't mix a whole lot. I kind of just usually melt the scent on its own. But, um, you know, it's fun to blend stuff occasionally. Love that elderberry donut though. I think I would want more of that for sure. Okay, we're 10 minutes in and those are all of the samples that I have. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Thank you again, Heather, so much. That was so generous and I can't wait to dive into those extra goodies. Now let's get into the items that I ordered. First up, I ordered one of these. This is a, a soy wax snap bar in bergamot sandalwood. So she has the name here, and then down here she has the scent notes. This is bergamot, violet, sandalwood, patchouli, and pine. This is intense. <laughs> this is very strong. I really get the bergamot and the pine. The pine is more of that kind of sharp tree scent. This is very fresh, like a fresh scent, fresh woodsy outdoor scent, but on a really nice like spring day is kind of what I get from this. This scent would be really good if you're like cleaning out your kitchen, if you made fish or bacon or something, you know, more pungent. This would, this would clean it out. I don't think I really get sandalwood. I don't get patchouli in the sense that I don't, I can't pick out patchouli per se, but overall this blend is very earthy, very woodsy. Yeah, not, I would say my absolute favorite, but it smells nice and I will use that probably sometime this spring, summer to clear out a smelly space. 
Then I got a couple of these um, wax melts that are in this like circle shape. And what I liked about these is I thought that you could break or cut really easily. I don't want to break it because it's so nice right now, but you could easily either chop or break a couple of pieces off. So this one is Palo Santo and bourbon. Does that not sound amazing? So Palo Santo wood and aged bourbon. I've been wanting to try more bourbon since lately. Um, I've kind of discovered bourbon a little bit from Lavender and Speckle. She has this blend, the bourbon and pine cones. And that scent, you guys, is just, I've fallen in love with it. So I wanted to see some other bourbon notes and kind of dip my toe in the water of, of the bourbon oils. Yeah, this is nice. It's a very similar bourbon to me from Lavender and Speckles. Not sure if they're the same oil or not, but it's masculine without being too cologne or anything like that. You get the Palo Santo wood. Oh, this is good. It's fresh and woodsy, but it's not too woodsy or too masculine. This is really pretty. I'm excited for that one. And I just thought the shape is so stinking cute. And then cotton candy cupcake. Obviously that just sounded amazing. White cake, cotton candy, and pink frosting. Yeah, this I really get the cotton candy and the pink frosting. I don't get too much cake. At least on warm we'll see <laughs> how it is once it cures and um I start melting it this is a very very sweet cotton candy frosting type scent I'm excited for that one that one is cotton candy cupcake and so pretty you can see the the glitter on it I really like the aesthetic I like that it's there's some there's some other colors here um but it's mainly white wax I really like the labels. I think it's it's really pretty. Okay, then I got a couple of these. These are 1.9 ounces snap bars. So a good a good sample size for like a bedroom or something like that. Um, this one is in downtown barber shop. You guys know I had to get this, and let me tell you, I'm obsessed and I need more. Bergamot, woodsy spice, basil leaf, amber, oak moss, white patchouli, and powdered musk. This is so good. This smells identical to me to Lavender and Speckles Barbershop, so I'm not sure if it's the same oil. I want to say the scent notes on her barbershop are very similar, so it, it very well could be. This is un. Believable. This barbershop oil, whatever this is, is pure magic. It just smells, it just smells like the most elegant, high-end barbershop scent ever. Oh my goodness. I love this. Heather, I definitely need more of this because this is not going to be enough, but I will use this probably in, um, my main, my master bedroom, bathroom, and just sit in the barbershop goodness one day. Love that. That is so stinking good. And then Sweethearts in Paris. This is berries, warm vanilla, and lemon zest. So I'm assuming based on the scent notes and the name, it's supposed to be like a sweet on Paris Bath and Body Works dupe. And to my nose, that's exactly what it is. Oh my gosh, it's so good. I love Sweet on Paris, though. That is one of my favorite kind of blends, especially Bath & Body Works blends. It's sweet. It's fruity. It's feminine. Great perfumey bedroom bathroom scent. Oh, I love this so much. And this smells, like I said, to me, this is a dupe for Sweet on Paris from Bath & Body Works. So stinking good. And then lastly, I have some clamshells, I think. Are they all para soy or some are soy, I think? Yeah, some are soy, some are soy. <laughs> Say that five times fast. And some are para soy. So the first one I have is honey cornbread. This one's para soy. 
This is cornmeal, honey, powdered sugar, fresh bread, and buttermilk. I can kind of be hit and miss on cornbread, but I thought with the honey, I don't know, it just sounded so good. Yeah, this is good. This is a really nice cornbread. Mm, I could see this being so nice in the kitchen. You could blend this. Oh my gosh. You can see a little bit of the glitter. Wow, I love it. Yeah, this is good. I'm glad that I, I picked that one up. So honey cornbread. I feel like cornbread scents for sure. This is a soy blend. This is Mandarin Palo Santo. thought this one sounded really interesting. I don't think I've ever seen a citrus scent with Palo. So I had to pick this one up. This is Mandarin Lemon Zest, Eucalyptus, and Palo Santo. Yeah, I really get the mandarin. Try the bottom here. The Palo is really light. I very much get the mandarin. And just kind of a hint of the Palo. So we'll see if the Palo comes out a little bit on warm, but the mandarin is really pretty. Oh, yeah, that's good. And such an interesting combination. Yeah, like I said, I... I don't think I've ever seen Apollo and a citrus together before. Juniper and pine. This is a soy blend. Juniper, pine needles, and patchouli. Yeah, this is really good. I really get the, the juniper, um, that very fresh, very fresh tree scent. Uh, okay, I just broke the clamshell, but that's okay or broke the you know, pieces in, in half. Wow, this is very fresh, very fresh tree scent. You get the pine. I don't get a ton of patchouli. It's mainly the juniper and the pine. But the juniper is that really nice, fresh juniper scent. This is gonna be so nice in the winter time. Yeah, I really like that one. Juniper and pine. All right, what else? Fresh fruit and wood. This is a parasoy blend. This is bergamot, lemon, apple, peach, and wood. Yeah, I really get the wood and kind of the bergamot. Come on out. But you get this freshness as well. Yeah, it's like lemon, bergamot, and wood. I would not say this has apple or peach in it quite yet, but things cure, things change. We'll see how it is on warm, but a very fresh, woodsy, outdoorsy scent. That one's really nice. Mixed berry. Mixed berry is a pear soy blend. Strawberry, raspberry, red currant, pineapple, and jasmine. Yeah, this is good. Don't know if I just got glitter on my nose. I don't think so. I definitely get like the pineapple and jasmine, but I also get like a red, a red berry note, but I couldn't pick out what that berry was. Oh, come on. Yeah, very fresh, clean. Yeah, really getting the the jasmine. It's a very fresh, clean, fruity floral scent. This is really pretty. I think that's going to be really nice for the spring and summer. So it's a mixed berry. And then lastly, uh, is it my favorite? Well, downtown barbershop obviously is a favorite. But let's say of the blends that you didn't know I was absolutely going to love, this next one, I am, I'm obsessed with this. I messaged Heather as I was sniffing the wax last night um, that I needed more of this and for her to please consider <laughs> repouring it. I guess I should melt it and make sure it performs well, but this scent is so good. This is pepper, peppermint macaron. So this is a parasoy um, blend. This is vanilla, cookie dough, lemon zest, and peppermint. The cookie dough. 
this is, wow, look how pretty. This is the most bakery rich, heavy peppermint. I love this. You get the peppermint, but it's not overpowered. The cookie dough, those bakery notes really come out. Ah, come on. It's so creamy. This is so good. And it's not just like a vanilla peppermint. And, you know, there's plenty of peppermints out there that are very vanilla heavy and the peppermint's a little bit more mild. But this you truly get bakery. I really do get the cookie dough, like heavy bakery notes with the peppermint. It's so rich and creamy. Oh my gosh, this is unbelievable. So, so good. So if I had to pick a favorite from the order, I'm going to say this one because it was just, this is so unexpected and so much better than I had anticipated. I really love like bakery, vanilla, creamy peppermints, but this one, the cookie dough, you guys, so good. So Heather, if you're watching, please, please, please <laughs> consider pouring this again because I would buy a lot of it. Okay, that is it. That is my entire first ever haul from Sweet Two Cents. I am so impressed. And I should say, I made this order on like a Sunday, a Saturday or Sunday. And she had the order packed and shipped to me the next day, which was incredibly fast. Everything was packaged so beautifully. I destroyed the box, but she had, um, she's got the little packing little slips in there. Everything was wrapped. There was a, a handle with care sticker on the box. So, and there was candy. There was an airhead in here as well. Um, a full size one too, not just a, a mini, a full size airhead. So like I said, everything was packaged so nice. It got here incredibly fast. I loved the presentation of the wax. I love the invoices. I'm overwhelmed with the number of samples that I got. So all in all, this was a great experience. I really recommend trying sweet two cents if you guys have not obviously i'm new to melting it i've only melted one thing so you'll be seeing these in my future empties videos as i start going through and melting the wax but just from initial impressions how everything was packaged and everything there i i'm loving this this was this was a great shopping an unpackaging experience. But that's everything I have to share with you all today. I really hope that you enjoyed. Please let me know down below if you have tried Sweet Two Scents or if she is on your list and what type of scents do you like from her. I would love to hear your thoughts. I will see you guys very soon in my next one. Bye.